Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome to tonight's live stream. We're trying another new game today. This is called Void Train. It just came out today as, uh, I think it's an exclusive on the Epic Game Store. Uh, but it's, it reminds me a lot of the game Raft, where we're like uh, trying to collect resources and stuff to grow the train thing we're riding on. Only it's got like this weird like interdimensional kind of thing going on. Uh, and we have to like survive and stuff too. But welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. Or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. I appreciate the support. A special thanks to all of our top tier Mistakes Were Made members that were highlighted at the start of the stream. I'm just going to quickly turn the music volume down a touch. It's a little intense on my side. I had to turn down the volume on the stream. Oh, I got this dial to move. Oh my god. I, I, I'm fail Oh, there it is. <laughs> I actually have to click the dial. It's like I'm failing at the, the dial game. All right, uh, so I, uh, I've seen a little bit of the gameplay of this, but I have not tried it at all. Uh, there was a demo, I think, that came out quite some time ago uh, that I didn't get a chance to try out. Uh, I guess we can do multiplayer and stuff on it as well. Character? Oh, so we can go male or female as our character. They look equally attractive. <laughs> uh, oh, there are different heads. Okay, let's uh, let's make them let's make them like super old. Oh my god, you'd be like sixty. Oh, wrinkly. All right, I don't know. We'll go with like what thirty-five. Doesn't matter. Change up our brown types. Uh, can I change their hair? Cause that hairdo is just awful. Oh, yeah, here we go. I mean, none of these are great, but all right, whatever. Go with that one. Uh, go with hat on him, which sort of defeats the purpose of having hair. We can, oh my! Oh my God! We gotta go. Okay, he's he's. We're, that's the look we're going for right there. No, jacket's fine. Hands are good. So we can adjust the body, but it's only the clothing. We can't actually make them um, in better shape. It's fine, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sure it's good. Anyway, let's join a new or start a new game. 60 super old. Well, I mean, no. <laughs> Daddy, isn't that you? No, Derek. Oh my god. That's how I locked the door? <laughs> well, they really like throw you like headlong right into the story. So the general premise of this, I guess, is supposed to be that there's this uh intergalactic or interdimensional train thing that runs along this track between portals through other worlds. And as you go through different worlds, you have to collect the resources that you need. Again, it's, it reminds me kind of Raft in the sense that you have to, like, gather up all the stuff that you need on your journey. They want a Froilein. Well, I, I made myself not a Froilein. I made myself an heir. Yeah, they should give up. What is this thing? It's a Dohada. I think there's actually Nazis in this game, if I, if I recall correctly. Anyway, um, here's this uh, this little like crazy train car thing we gotta ride on. And today, there we go. Oh my God, he's trying to tell jokes. <laughs> is this the Thomas the Tank Engine show? Uh, kind of, yeah. Okay, so we've got our uh, train car thing ready. I guess this little symbol here is everything that we have to do to follow the follow the quest line. Turn it on. Fire it up. There's like no preamble. Eins, zwei, drei. There's a bone. Uh, Alright, we gotta hit the brakes. Welcome aboard our intergalactic train thing. I hope there's a bit of a tutorial of this. Hey, Michael, how you doing? You missed the beginning. Do we know who or what we are? No, there is like a little, uh, there is an intro video kind of thing, but it's super slow pace and the, the talking in it was really slow. So I sort of skipped over it. But the idea is that 
we uh we somehow like discovered this laboratory thing while we were trying to find our illustrious leader and then discovered this void train scenario there's really not a whole lot of intro to it they just like fire you straight into the game <laughs> okay i don't know what those things are but they're kind of cute Where is it? Past? Future? I, I I don't know. It's not. Uh, it doesn't give you any real specifics that way. So, as I understand it, we're supposed to be able to like gather resources and things. Like all this stuff that's floating in space around here ends up being stuff that we can grab. And I think we, I I, I I'm fairly certain we can jump off and fly with like a tether attached to the ship. But oh, I got a horn. Can't go wrong with a horn. All right, uh, let's hit the break. I guess because that's what the game wants me to do. And uh, so the journey into oh. the in-between begins. All right. Our heroes are about to start their adventure. Wait, wait, wait. Forward, not backwards. Oh, goodness. Just use this transmission thingy. What transmission thingy? The horn? This thing? Oh, this thing. Oh, yes. okay. Good, good. Okay, now our heroes are definitely about to begin their adventure through the many dangers that lie ahead. Oh, so much excitement awaits. I mean, it looks cool. Okay, no, this is not good. At this rate, we'll never finish this story. I don't want to be that guy, but... <laughs> ah, that guy. How about you tell me how to collect stuff? Full throttle. Speed the trolley up with the trolley handle. Okay. Yes. I expected no less from you. Full ahead. Allons-y. Am I supposed to keep pushing it? What is that thing back there? It's like a lock across the track now. This game's wacky. Incidentally, if you're watching the stream tonight and you decide you're interested in picking up the game, it is available in the Epic Game Store. It came out today. Uh, I have a link in the description below to where you can grab that. And if you use my creator code or that link, it uh, helps support the channel at the same time. I wanted to tell me how to gather resources. I see stuff flashing. Hold on a second. Wait, that's the transmission. Hit the brakes. So, I think we can jump off and get things, but I don't know how to do it. So we're just gonna we're gonna wing it. Oh, there's a tether. Okay, dirty ice I got. Didn't get the clean ice. Had to get the dirty one. Now we we'll got more over here. So we're in like some uh, some weird like anti gravity dimension. I don't know how many of them are gonna look just like this one, but it's kind of neat. We'll have to go back to the train. Oh, he just pulled yourself in. Oh, that's cool. Yoink! What else can I get? I I'm assuming it's only the stuff that's flashing that I can grab. I'm guessing those aren't aggressive. Ooh, can we go up? That's interesting. Oh, if I jump off the train, I can go up, but I can't go straight up when I'm on the train. Interesting. All right. Uh, this tether, I think, should have a limit to how far we can go. <laughs> I think I found it. <laughs> I'm as I'm as far out as we can go right now. It's not very far. I'm assuming at some point in the future we'll get a, get the chance to adjust it. Stop the trolley and jump off. Yeah, that's what I did. Uh, I should actually back up and get maybe some stuff back there. So like I said, this is my first time playing the game. I haven't tried this at all, including the demo. Um, so it's going to take a little experimentation for me to get uh, the handle on everything here. But um, again, very much like Raft. We're gathering stuff. Um, I think there's... Uh, yeah, there's our inventory. Eventually we'll get to expand on the size of this trolley by increasing the... the the square footage and stuff, and they can get like, you can build like a full on train and things. I guess otherwise it'd be void trolley instead of void train. It would be cool in VR. It would actually, yeah. Uh... The brakes! Alright, there we go. What's this? Some sort of bundle of grapes or something? Chemical! Just random flying chemicals. Got it. Oop. Yeah, I did go backwards on purpose. I, uh, I wanted to come back and get see the, the stuff I could see back here flashing that I didn't grab. Organics? Ah! Those things are super weird. They spook me. Oh, there actually, there's actually land down here. Not that I can reach it. Neat. 
Okay. Uh, let's go forward again. Try to grab things as we go. Environment's cool anyway. I'll give it that. Oh, I'm trying to like. There we go. Get it. Get it. There we go. Just let the train tow me along behind. I can just fly around and grab stuff. Oh wait. Oh, I gotta use the. I gotta use the F to catch up to the train. <laughs> it's kind of moving a bit. There we go. More dirty ice. Oh, I banged myself. Down there. See more wood or something up here I want to grab. Anyone else have a little buffering issue? Oh man, I hope not. YouTube's been... Oh! Oh, look. Okay, so wherever these little um, symbol things are underneath the track, it looks like it creates a barrier. So once we pass it, we can't go back the other way. Probably worth noting. What was that? Scrap metal. Give me all the stuffs. It's cool. The word looks neat in this. Rope is 15 feet long. I mean, I'm thinking it'll get bigger at some point. Like, maybe we'll have a way to expand on it or something. Let it rip. You can craft. I have no idea how to do it just yet. Uh, I can't even pull up my inventory here right now. Oh, that's weird. Maybe when the train's moving, I can't pull up my inventory? That's odd. Yeah, there is crafting in the game, so you can do like, uh, I think you can make like storage things and you can expand on the size of your, uh, your train. So you're not stuck at this little trolley the whole time. Why can't I look at that and click it? <laughs> uh oh. No! Game broke. Oh, there's the building stuff. Oh man, my input is like super delayed. Something's wrong. It's not taking my input. <laughs> this is an early access, and I think we've just found our first bug. <laughs> Wooden floor. Alright, this isn't going well. Well, okay, so there's storage. No, there's nothing in there. Production. I guess we have to we have to unlock these things. Makes you wonder if the parts will, uh, will enclose your trolley into a more protected space. I mean, I, I, from from what I've saw, seen in the trailer, you actually end up making like a full-on train instead of just a trolley at some point through expansion. But I can't uh, I can't get out of the inventory. This is great. Maybe it doesn't work while moving. Well, it stuck me in here now. I can't get out. Reload it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yo. All right, that's not good. Yeah, escape's not working. Like nothing's. My keyboard's not responding. Not in the game anyway. Close window. That sucks. <laughs> First crash. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not playing CMS 2021 tonight. I chose this game tonight. This is what we're playing tonight. <laughs> Yo. Hack the cache, but building XP normally? What's the point of hacking the cache, though? Why not just play in the... If you're going to hack the cache, why not just play in the sandbox mode? Skip the little intro thing again. It's kind of long and slow. Play. Continue. Maybe it didn't like me jumping off the train while it was in motion or something. I don't know. Um, all right, we're back anyway. Do I have... Okay, I still have stuff, so that's good. It did save my progress. Would have sucked if it hadn't. 
The trucker don't have time to grind cash. Ah, oh, I see. Well, see again though. Like, why not just do the uh, uh, why not just do the sandbox mode then? You can just skip the cheat because the sandbox mode gives you unlimited money anyway. I think. I mean, do whatever you want. But I'm just saying, it's probably less effort. Top left mission. It's actually top right. A building. Build a research table. Um. So I gotta figure out how to craft here. It brought up the crafting menu before, but I have no idea how I did it. <laughs> Hold on, where's my uh, settings? Controls. Switch fire mode, consumables, tools, heavy items, crafting book is B. Welcome to the crafting book. Alright, so we have this fancy research table we have to make. I have enough materials for it, so that's good. I guess we'll stick it over here, because I don't know where else to put it. Can I rotate this thing? Uh, rotate. There we go. Put it near the front. Perfect. We have a research table. Research technology of the smelter. Uh, uh let's maybe put this on hold for a minute. While I do this research. I don't want to miss important stuff here that we're going to be, uh, rolling past, unfortunately. Oh, you want to Oh, I see. Yeah, Alright, that's, that's cool, then. I guess in the end, it's not really that much different than what I did in just, like, buying a car and selling it before it's completed. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so. Crafting bench. Research. Uh, inactive. Select blueprint. We have to research the smelter. Not enough resources. I need four metal to research the smelter. We can also research containers. Phase one of the research. So I gotta get metal so we can do the smelter thing. You smeltered it, you deltered it. Hey Brad, how you doing? Kieran, welcome. You see Frostpunk 2 was announced, they're gonna they're going from coal to oil. I saw something about uh they were gonna have an announcement, and someone had asked me if I was gonna play Frostpunk 2. Uh, I didn't see the announcement itself though, but I, I I presume that's what the announcement was about when when somebody asked me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I, I am looking forward to playing that, and I definitely will. I gotta go check the trailer, though. First Frost, Frostpunk was so good, so they got a little bit to live up to now. Okay, nothing over there. So it's gonna be a little bit grindy, I think, trying to gather all the, the little bits of resource we need to make stuff, because it's not exactly, uh open world in the sense I can jump off and do what I want. I'm kind of constrained within range of this train. More organic? Hmm, organics. On the plus side, I don't appear to need food or water, so that's... That'll save me a little effort. Nothing. It, like, swims. <laughs> but it was all sunshine and lollipops like you've come to expect from the Frostbug franchise. Oh, yes. I'm sure it is. Sunshine, lollipops, rainbows, and all that stuff. In that metal. Yoink. Uh, there's another one up here. I don't know how far I can go. Okay, I guess I'm alright. There's a point where if you're close enough to the train, it just sort of drops you back down again, but... I guess if we're up high enough, it won't do it. Another metal over here. Reminds me of Dishonored Realm of the Outsider. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, it's like it's a survival light, like, grounded. It's Or, or like, uh... Yeah. I, I, because it's... What's that one that you were flying over the desert or whatever with the lizard things and you had to build your flying platform? I can't remember the name of it. Kind of like that. <laughs> Alright, we got enough to research that. Uh... Oh, there it goes. Okay. Select blueprint. Oh, actually, let's see what the uh, quest says. Build the smelter. What do I need to do to build the smelter? Building menu? There we go. Alright, smelter. I, I need metal for the smelter. Of course I do. Off we go again. 
I think that was a bad dream. Desert Skies, yes, that's what I was thinking of. Thank you. This reminds me of like Desert Skies or Raft or whatever, but yeah, the graphics are nicer. What this chemical? I have no idea what the chemical does. I'm just trying to grab like everything I can see for right now. I don't know if there'll come a point where my uh, my overfilled inventory pack radishness becomes a problem, but I'm sure it will. Weird looking for stuff in three dimensions. The brakes! There's one metal. Well, a wooden smelter would have caught fire. Yeah, I guess that's true. Dishonored is a first person stealth dark steampunk franchise. Yeah, I've played Dishonored. I don't really see this as. Being very much like Dishonored, but I guess you, are you referring to the uh, general atmosphere of it more than anything? Ah, oh, I'm just out of reach! Blasted trolley. You ever look for things in three dimensions? How do you ever find your car keys? I keep them on the same level at all times, so I don't have to. I don't often have to look at the ceiling to find my keys. <laughs> oh, there's metal. Need that metal. Get it! It's got. Reminiscent of the Void Area and Dishonored? Oh, maybe I just haven't played that part, I guess. I don't know if I ever finished Dishonored. I played it a little bit, as I do many games. <laughs> oh, metal. I would have wear the breakout. We're doing a lot of like switching it on, flicking it off. If you have to look at your ceiling to find your keys, then your kids are unimaginative. Or shorts. Or shorts. Could be both, really. All things considered. So I don't know if the worlds in this are randomly generated, but um, I gather at the end of this track at some point there'll be another portal we go through, and that takes us to a different world. Uh, I don't know if they're just sequential or they're randomized, but uh, it'd be interesting to find out. You don't have to stop it to get stuff. Yeah, I know, but I just didn't want to. Uh, didn't want the game to screw up on me again. <laughs> Hey, Thomas, how you doing? It's the metal I really want. Fly along the side of the train. This isn't bad. I'll miss anything that's on the other side, but as long as we can snag all the stuff I need over here, I guess this is alright. Wonder if you can eat those chirpy things? I don't know. Um, I mean, it doesn't seem like we need food, but. Chirpy things eat you. It turns out they're a lot more aggressive than they look. <laughs> we just haven't pissed them off yet. <laughs> this is a weird game. Ooh, two pieces of metal. I gather you don't want to get stuck behind a rock when the rope pulls taut on the train. Just like yank you right through it. <laughs> in real life, you would never trust that sketchy rope. Yeah, I mean, in real life, I would never. Uh, you'd never get me off of that thing. 
We're like, nope, forget it. Natural born chicken right here. Flying around collecting stuff doesn't seem very engaging. Well, this is just, um, this is like the, like the resource gathering side of things, I guess. From what I've seen, there is like combat and stuff in the game. Um, obviously there's building in the game, but it's got to introduce you to the game somehow. Okay, building menu. Uh, we want to build our smelter. I guess we'll put it back here. I don't know. We're gonna run out of floor space real quick. Yeah, that's that. Smelt iron ingots uh, and pick them up. So I need to make two iron ingots. I gotta put fuel in. I assume that'll be wood. Oh, did that work? Oh, okay, there we go. I get it. Uh, iron bar, copper bar. So we need uh, iron. Make two of those. Less than 20 seconds. Create. There we go. So it's wrapped on a cart. Kind of, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Only with combat and things. So there's enemies in the game that I've, I've seen. That, I, mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be like the... Uh, supposed to be like the Nazis or something, but there's some kind of like soldier guys. They have guns, from what I've seen. Alright, we've got our two iron bars. And the tutorial's not telling me to do anything. Ah! <laughs> that sucks. There we go. What I need. Let it cool down first with the metal? <laughs> Did I just burn myself? I didn't take any damage. I think I'm alright. Trippy. Yeah, it does feel a lot like Raft. Uh, I mean, obviously with the Raft, you're, you're, you're staying within the range of a boat that uh, you can change the direction of. With a train, you're uh, kind of on rails, so your, your directional options are rather limited. <laughs> you can go forward and back. I haven't seen a roadmap of the game yet either, so I'm not sure what their intention is in terms of like the the further development. But um, the game is not complete yet. All right. So, what did I have me smelt those bars for? I wonder. So we can just go ahead and we'll work on another research. Oh, maybe for that other research. Can we smelt more. Melton. But you can fully repair the cart that crashed into the back of a semi. Uh, no comment. It's never happened. I don't know what these lies are that you're speaking, but uh, they're specious and awful. Oh, what is that? It was like a big, uh, snaky tail-like thing. Oh, there's a big chain there. I don't see any resources here. Ah! Get it, get it, get it! Go faster! Yes! Ah! <laughs> I'm hanging under the train. Get on there. Okay, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh, there's like a Bernie portal thing up there or something. Speciesist. Yeah, that's what it is. Speciesist, not specious. I definitely would have said speciesist. <laughs> In the metal.
Oh, they're like giant ribbons coming off this uh, portal thing here. Do I have to honk? <laughs> I don't know if my horn did it, made it flash, or it was my proximity. Open the door! I don't want to crash. No. Oh. Welcome to whatever this place is. Junction, Junction, what's your function? It's the Illuminati, not the Nazis. No, oh, not the Illuminati. This is weird. Uh, hi. Whoa. Whoa. Looking around for some time now, our heroes are trying to understand where they are and who could possibly build such wonders. Upon further inspecting the platform, it becomes obvious to them that someone used to live here. An idea occurs to? to our brave adventurers investigating the abandoned depot. Subtle. I was hoping this was a box I could open, but apparently it's not. So I don't have my tether anymore because we're actually on some ground now. Gee, should we go where the marking is? <gasps> Fire extinguisher! Oh, I can't take it. Disappointed. Oh, good, a smug narrator. <laughs> Every good story needs a smug narrator. What do we got here? That'd be something I can take. Don't send me over here and, don't, and then not let me steal. I mean, come on. How rude. Oh, it's teaching us how to crouch. Everything's toast around here. All right. Did you name the train Foxy Express? Uh, nope. I didn't get to name it anything. It sort of just thrust us directly into the context of the game. Like I said, there was like, like a, a bit of an intro story video. Oh, there's a dead dude down there. A uh, bit of an intro story video kind of thing at the beginning, but I skipped over it because I thought there'd be a little bit more context given in the game. Seems like I was wrong. Hello, glorious dead dude. Oh, he's got a gun. Somebody has been in good graces with the goddess of luck. Look at him caress that thing. It's like, oh, blammy blam pistols. All right. We don't ever have, like, ammo or anything, but... Maybe they got some around here we can steal. I mean, creatively acquire. Permanently borrow. This guy was doing a lot of drinking, man. Nothing. Oh. How do I... Destroy the boards with, uh... Destroy the boards with shots and come out. Why do I want to shoot them? I just... They're so decayed, I literally walk into them and they break. I don't need bullets. I've got a decaying touch. Alright. It's got only one main th thing, target acquired. Uh, I have six shots in this thing, so I hope they give me some more ammo somehow. I think, oh yeah, I can put the gun away. I know I... Oh, there we go. Apparently the gun is in my third slot. I can't even go to my inventory in here. I hope it didn't screw up again. Is this available on Xbox One? Uh, I don't know if it's available on console, to be honest. Uh, I know it's available on the Epic Game Store for PC, but I'm, I don't know about console. Oof. That didn't hurt. We're all right. All right. We stopped here for the express purposes of getting ourselves a gun. Now we can shoot things. Like a responsible gun owner. 
pistol has infinite ammo? Oh, it does too, doesn't it? I see it. Alright, that's good. It's a six shot reload infinite ammo gun. You know, like as most six shots are. Alright. Seem to be in like the same place. The game put us back at the beginning. Plus gun, of course. Good building supplies are on the left side of the train. It's weird. And now they come. Yeah, this is where we start seeing enemies, I guess, because I now have a gun I can shoot them with. But, like, at first you were helpless, but now you're not. Get them! Catch up to my train. Ah! Think if we shoot one, the rest of them will get mad. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I want to craft a uh, storage box now. Seems to say we got we have that figured out. Stick it up front here. Bloop. Only do one, I guess. Open. All right, so we've got uh, metal. I guess they do stacks of five. Oh, this chest is tiny, man. We're not going to hold like anything in here. So the inventory was almost full, too. I'm going to need to make more smelted metal. Uh, like so. Smelt that puppy. Stick a chest in the chest. <laughs> Look, he has a gun. Now he must die. Unleash the goons. Who's there? Goons. Goons? Iron goons. Ooh. Prospect 2 announced 30 years after the first. Really? I didn't think they'd survive that long. That's impressive. Thought, uh, thought in Frostpunk the, the, the general premise was, uh, everybody dies. <laughs> it's just a question of when. I suppose that's still true. In the grand scheme of things. Don't stop, you're moving at a snail pace anyway. Well, I wanted to craft things, but, alright. We'll let it keep rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them puppies going, right? Nothing better come out. Blast it with my infinite ammo pistol. What happened to my, uh, stuff? Did I grab it already? I guess I did. Okay, uh, storage box. Bloop. Put another one here. Map. How do I make these things bigger, I wonder? What's this do? Oh, I can name them. Alright. Random junk one, random junk two. Got it. I don't know. Whoa. Did I hit it? Get off my train, man! Oh, it is actually attacking the train. It's like a giant leech kind of thing. I wonder if I could have taken its body. Oh, it dropped something. And since I'm not stopping the train, we couldn't get it. I missed, did I? I guess it did. Alright, so we can research a workbench. Uh, obviously, I need more materials, but workbench one unlocks blueprint for bolts, gear springs, copper components. I mean, I don't know. That's, I guess we gotta smelt some more metal. Um, like 
four or three, I guess. I think it was only three I needed for that thing. Oh, please keep that singing voice, Cryptic Fox. Gotta get some sleep now, other than just like some old lulling. <laughs> oh my god. all the same kind of materials and stuff. I'm, I'm assuming when we get to other types of worlds and we get more things researched and unlocked, we'll start coming across other types of material to work with. I'm guessing, anyway. Ah, get on the train! Get on the train! It'll be a lot of grinding initially, I think. If we get all this stuff... Blink. All right, we have our three metal bits. Uh, we now research this fancy workbench one, which I'm hoping will just upgrade the workbench we have as opposed to like making us build a new workbench because that would suck because I don't have room. Not a lot of space in this tiny little train. As we're going through space or whatever this is. Shoot the rope, you know, for science. We have infinite ammo, why not? Doesn't seem to damage it. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Apparently you can walk on the track, sort of. What happens if you're off the train too long? Not much, you're attached by attached by a tether, so as far as I can see, nothing, but... Get it stuff! Get it stuff! What was that? Leather. Oh, okay. So there is a there is definitely a reason to kill those things. And not just for pleasure. Got it. I don't know what to do with the leather yet, so we'll stick it in here for now. I need to know how to add extra slots on here. Contain oh, you know what? These are container ones, so there must be containers, like... Container two, maybe container three that expands the size. Alright, research table. What else can we do? Basic components. Uh, I need more... More of these bits. Craft it all. There's metal back there. Just try making bigger stacks than containers. Uh, I don't know if I did or not. I'll try that. I hope that I hope we can put bigger stacks in. Like in my own inventory, they stack in fives, but let's find out. Nope. They, uh, they stack in fives in there, it looks like. Researching basic components. I have a feeling I'm gonna need more metal. We're gonna have to find some. I guess. Oh, there's some. Oh, I named a container one just before. Oh, okay. That's what it is. <laughs> I get it. Ah, got it. Forgot that was the name of it. Regardless, I hope there is a way to make them bigger, because I do need more storage there. They've got the spots, but... I'm assuming I can. Break for babes bumper sticker. <laughs> a break for burgers. Mmm, burgers. More junk. All right, uh, let's put all the wood in here, why not? Two more of those, anyway. It does go to quite a snail space, doesn't it? 
Oh my good thing I need the time to grab all this stuff. Alright. Uh copper, I need like I was assuming that's copper bars, but I haven't seen copper yet, I don't think. Unless the metal can be just smelted down into either iron or copper, which is weird. Ow! Oh, okay. that was going to be out of reach. Cryptic, uh, why not? What? Oh, get off my train thing. Right in your face. Give me your stuff. Did he drop anything? That's weird. It didn't drop anything that time. Sorry, we're not trying to be glib. Missed uh, first one minute, 20 seconds. What's the overall point of the game? I'm not entirely clear on that. <laughs> so it's really not a glib question. Uh, it's kind of like a, like a survival adventure story game where you're on this... This weird railway that's going through some interdimensional space. Um, you have to like gather resources and build out the size of your build out the size of your train and all your storage things and what have you. But I'm, I'm not entirely clear on uh, the broader objective beyond that. Uh, I have seen in the trailer that there's combat involved. Uh, there are some enemies in here, some like uh, guys with machine guns and stuff. And it looks like our train can get to be quite big, actually. Um. But the setup is a little, uh, I don't know. It, it, the idea is we, we were like some sort of a soldier reporting to some weird officer guy and we got separated and when we went to go find him we found this shack that had this mysterious portal in it and then there were like Nazis outside the door. So we went through the portal and found ourselves in this place. But I, I, I don't know. It's, um, and that just sort of like throws you r like right into the game so there's not really like a lot of setup beyond that. Okay, let's see if we can make these, uh, copper bars. Oh, okay, it just takes the metal in the... Yeah. Make three of those, I guess. It takes the metal and the chemicals, so we do have a reason to have the chemicals, at least. Bipolar Express. <laughs> nope, there's another portal coming up. Back to the train! You said choo choo choose me, and there's a picture of a train. Oh, cool story, bro. Is there a whale? I didn't see a whale. I missed some metal back there, though. I'm also not clear on why there's these big fluttery things at the gates. I don't know what this is with that. The music? Oh, God. Oh, God. Fly. Fly, you fiend. Need the metal. Ah, he gets up close to the train and then he just like falls down beside it. And stuff. Copper acquired. Let's unlock this other thing here in the research table. Curious to see whether I have to honk the horn. If I don't honk the horn, I wonder if we'll just crash into the door. Nope. Apparently we don't. The horn's just for looks, I guess. Beep, beep, beep. It's the triangle of death. Oh. It closes rather suddenly. I think I might have actually closed on part of my train. I had to know for signs. Can't damage it, apparently. We need the speed boost this guy's got. We built this railway, anyway. Okay, so no weird preamble story this time. What? Bad things happened here. Bad things. 
What happens if you're behind the train when the portal closes? Uh, you know, that's a good question. I have no idea. This is my first time playing the game, so there's an awful lot I don't know yet. I feel like I'm going in the exit. <laughs> I seem to be going opposite to all the arrows, which is probably... The wrong way? Often leech plats. Okay. Each tongue. Okay, so maybe the uh, maybe the Nazis have been here. Have I got a flashlight here? No. Nope. Light. I have no flashlight. It's dark and spoopy, and I don't have a flashlight. Good times. What's that noise? Yeah, it's German. There were Nazis in the game, like in the in the intro story thing. So I'm thinking maybe it has something to do with them. This one seems to be counterproductive. I don't know why we stopped here. What happens if I shoot one of the fire hydrants or fire extinguishers? I wonder. Apparently not much. Oh, stuff! Holy, I found things. Alright, well at least there was something I could open. Didn't find anything else. Oh, I can't go to the window. Ha! Ah, skills. Parkour to the max, man. That's it. We came in here for a piece of wood. Alright, good times. Yeah, there's like nothing in here. What about this other place? It looks big enough to have a second floor. Maybe it's got one of those. I mean, there's no clear stairway. Is that a window and everything? There's got to be a way to get up there, right? Hmm. Maybe it's supposed to teach you to, like, jump and crouch, maybe? <laughs> yeah, because I had to, like, jump and crouch down to get through the, uh... Jeez. Oh, I found fat! Mmm, just what I always wanted. Glorious fat. Okay, well that was a dud. That's a lively trash can, yeah. Candle making time. In the void. <laughs> terrible carnivore creature is drawing closer to its prey. What? Our heroes should be more vigilant in the future. What? What? I don't want to get eaten, man. I'm too grisly. Maybe that's the incentive not to be away from the train too long. <laughs> Deep in the void, a creature's trying to eat me or something. Alright, what else have we got here that we can unlock on this thing? Uh, lab one. Creates unstable chemical, chemical components for grease and resin. I'm gonna have to research that. Locker blueprints, forcer bearing, which needs uh, these things first. I guess we'll do the chemical components. Since I don't appear to be, oh, you know what? I could probably make those uh, those bolts now and copper wire over here in the smelter, or maybe not. I thought I'd researched. Oh no, I didn't do it. Uh, no. What? Get off my train! My train! It's not your train. Give me that! Not enough space! 
Oh man, my inventory's full. Let me back on my train here. There we go. All right, we gotta put the fat away, I guess. I have no room for the fat. Okay, that's good. Oh yeah, storage is a distinct problem in this game. Holy chow. Why don't we have raw meat? Oh, I do have food and food and water down here. Oh shoot, I didn't think I had to eat or drink. <laughs> Maybe uh, just in the early part where they're teaching the game, you don't. What is that thing? Get out of here, you jerk. Those shots are not hitting it. <laughs> now that I've made it mad, it's going to come and eat my face or something. Uh, all right, let's make um, two more of these, I guess, so that I can... Oops. So I could at least uh, build another storage box. The thing is big. I don't like it. What is that? Shoots it to make it mad. That's right. That's how we work. Yeah. What are food flashing red? Are you starving? I guess. Uh, I guess so. Seems that way. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to eat. Well, I mean, I've got. What have we got in here? Pure ice. Can't put that in it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Get out of here, you jerk! See, I was in my inventory! Totally missing it now. Uh, I've got, uh, I've got ice in here, but how do I eat it? 10% water. Oh, there we go. Use. Look, look, look. Okay, that filled up my water. This gives me organic fat. You'll definitely find it useful. What the heck is... Oh, no, it's got a sphincter. Oh, God, shot it right in the sphincter and it all disintegrated. Okay. Okay, that made sense. <laughs> Giant void alien sphincter thing. Got it. A potato aim in space. Oh, uh, can satisfy hunger, but you can experience health issues afterwards. Oh, that's great. These give water. Oh, organics give food. All right. Use? Use? Okay, so we found food. That's that's alright. We got things for my food hole. I wonder if I can even kill that thing or if I'm just irritating it. Okay, uh, I was trying to do a thing and I don't remember what it was now. Uh, I'm gonna try and build some component -y pieces. Phase two is completed. Uh, this thing I've got to get, I got to get bolts and copper wire. I, I kind of assumed I'd be able to make those, but maybe I need like the chem station or something for that. Oh, I collected it's fat. Gross. Get out of here! Yeah, you got stuck, didn't you? Potato aim for the loss. I missed like most of those shots. <laughs> should build workbench one i have a workbench it's right here i guess hold on let me put this on the hole for a second oh critical hit doesn't like those face shots does he come closer when you die i want to be able to grab your stuff Whatever that might be. That is one ugly so-and-so. You didn't even drop anything. Give me things! For the record, shooting it didn't help. 
Ah. All right. Oh, leather. I killed it. Go me. Skinning knife option? Uh, yeah, I mean, nothing I can get yet, but... Okay, so... Is this, like, something I can upgrade instead of having to build a whole new one? Build. Workbench one. Oh, okay, that's a research table. Workbench one is a separate thing. That's an actual, like, crafting bench. I get it now. I get it now. I got the smarts. I got all the brains. Oh, let me build this thing. Am I missing the parts for this thing? Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. There. Workbench one. Oh, I need another iron bar. Okay. Uh. Clap. Crap. Let's get this thing underway again. Seeing as how we killed the big fat guy over there and he's not giving me anything. There's gotta be a way to. There's gotta be a way to, like, interact with this thing or something. I can hit it. Maybe I can bring it back to the train with me. If I can get to the other side of it. Oh, it's just too far away. Darn it. Assuming, yeah, uh, okay, I was gonna say, I'm assuming this needs more wood. Oh, what kinds of stuff we can burn in here? All right, go to it. What else can we make here? So we got workbench, one research table, nothing there. Just the one storage still. Oh, this is just showing everything. Got it. Wooden floor. What do I do with a wooden floor? <laughs> Apparently, I can't craft it anywhere. Oh, let's get this underway again. Okay, so in this we can make, uh, there's those bolts. I need bars for that. Bars for that. Gears. Okay, how many, uh, how many was it for these research things? Two and two. I need two of each. Apparently I'm out of metal. I got a scrap metal right there. Why can't I make the bars I want? I can only make one. I guess it takes two. Okay. Need more scrap. Building's car or upper floor? I mean, I can't build any of that stuff yet. I, I think I have to get it unlocked, but... First we have to, like, uh... Kind of progress through all this stuff. Give me that metal, I need it. Another one over here. The train feels like it's going faster now. A little bit harder to keep up to it. Yeah, no, that's not what it is. Those are those are chemical like blobs of chemical like floating in the void or whatever. There's organics that we can use for food, uh, which I'm apparently needing again. Uh, um, organics for food. There's uh, ice crystals for water. I think I drank all the water. Could be a bad thing. Nope, we're good. How many of these things? Oh, pretty much one of those refills my water, so that's good. And then organics, we can chunk away on these a little bit. Oh no, that doesn't fill it up. I get it. It's like a full full circle we can go. Yoink. Chemicals of copper made something in the grafting tree. Um yeah, well chemicals in the iron or chemicals in the scrap metal rather make the copper bar. And then I can use the copper bar to make uh, copper bar to make the copper wire. Yeah, now you see how you're dead. Let's see what he dropped though. If anything. 
and keep an eye out for ice. I need stuff to drink. I have nothing to purify the, the dirty water I have. Patrick, what's this game about? Trains in space? Yeah, it's kind of a kind of a strange uh, survival adventure kind of game. We're on this train going through some interdimensional void. Um, we gotta gather materials and stuff so that we can survive and research things, expand the train. It's a kind of a loosely based premise on why we're doing all these things though, which is kind of weird. Uh, I need uh, two of those. Metal seems to be the limiting factor right now. There's... There might be drinking ice up there. It's a nice looking game, I'm not gonna lie though, it is kind of a weird premise. <laughs> Okay, uh, so now we can make in here. Wait a minute. What did I. I unlocked the stuff to do this. No, I didn't. I get it. I need two of these things. What's my inventory doing? Lots of this dirty ice. I need some of the clean stuff to drink. There's one. Do you think they railroaded the plot? Ah. Uh, let's just say the game's a little linear. <laughs> oh. Did I get too far away? There's like there's like three metal over here. Ah. Okay, hold on. We gotta back up. I want that metal. We're coming up on the next gate here anyway. Give me that metal. You're gonna have to train hard. Oh, so many puns. <laughs> Which is better, raft versus Subnautica versus uh, Below Zero? I mean, uh, the regular, the first Subnautica is the better of the bunch. At least that would be my my take on it. Nice. All the metals. Set ourselves back in motion again. Okay, now with that we can unlock this other research here. I got all kinds of dirty ice. There's got to be something I can make at some point that will let me clean it. I would assume. Hmm. I wonder if the fat in the burn in the furnace would actually last longer when I'm smelting things. Okay, that's done. I need to make uh, chemical components. But I'm assuming I'm going to first have to make that chemical station to be able to do it. Uh, lab one. I need to make two bolts and two copper again. All right. Got to get the copper wire going. You know, the fat oh my god the fat burns faster than the wood <laughs> all right that's the self don't use fat Supplies here. I guess right near the portal thing, they uh, make a point of not getting you stuff. Off the train, quick! <laughs> yeah. 
Still recook the meat. Uh, yeah, I've got to gradually uh, unlock all these things, I guess. I can't build the stove yet, though. We don't have a stove yet. <laughs> Make that copper wire for again. Can you put the ice in the forge? I don't think so. I didn't science it. Oh, whether to see whether I could get caught behind the train. <laughs> we'll do it at some point. Um, oh, I know what I was trying to do. I was trying to make the. Uh, that's uh, the chemical station thing, the lab. I guess we'll put it over here next to the smelter thing. Grab you. Uh, oh, I need another wood, I guess. I guess I put it all in the... That's probably a bad idea. Got my two bolts in progress. Do I have any wood stored here anywhere? I need to take a wood out of here. Take. There we go. Wood is acquired. Uh, this is done. Okay, we have a chemical station. And here we can make unstable chemicals. An ingredient needed to create useful and items and substances. And that's it, I guess, so far. Can you cook the meat in the forge? Uh, let's check. No, it's it's like you have to. You're crafting a specific item based on a recipe, so you can't just sort of like put whatever you want on it. It seems. I'm hoping I can use it like to cook a recipe or something at some point that will give me a little more substantial food. Because that would be good. Found metal in the trash can. These little station places are strange. Uh, are those the coils of some giant serpent thing? They don't seem to care. <laughs> Do not shoot the giant serpent thing. Oh, too late. I already tried. It didn't work, by the way. Soldat in, in Wonderland. Okay. It's got the, the uh, triangular portal and everything. So, I guess they already knew about these things. There's, like, there's really not much here. Uh, I don't speak German, but I know that's welcome. Uh, I, yeah, I wish I spoke German now. Unimaginable stations. Yeah, there's not really a lot going on here, is there? Maybe there will be eventually. But for now, definitely not. Um, I want to make the compound stuff. I thought I researched it. Oh, I didn't already. Need uh, a greaser resin. I need a fat. I got fat. Ooh, I got all the fat. Separate. Okay, so I do have to have it on my person to do the stuff in the research table. I can't just use my my uh, local stored supplies. That's less than ideal. Scotty, your survival how? Well, there's um eating and drinking and building and shooting of things it's a bit of a strange game it's a novel concept but it's a little strange so far it's nice to look at though give it that okay I need uh 
Oh, it's dark in this one. Now we're in dark land. Whatever that means, there's going to be more dangerous things here. One of those guys again! Okay, so this one... Leave my stuff alone! Things attached to my trolley. I don't know if they can actually destroy it or not. I don't know what the deal is with these. Give me that stuff! I got that stuff! Reel me in, reel me in! Reel me in! Reel me in! Oh my god, game! Give me <laughs> give me back on the train. I don't know where it went. There you are. Oh my god, I can't hit the broad side of a barn. Ah! Okay. Oh, you can't kill those things. Do they give organics? It gives fat. All right, so there's our source of fat. Oh, God, get on the train. Get on the train! <laughs> you can't get on the back of the train, for the record. <laughs> Ooh. That felt really awkward. Yeah, okay, I need to make that grease stuff. Oh, I need fuel. Uh, sturdy wood? I don't have sturdy wood. That's interesting. What's this game about? It's uh, it's kind of like Raft in that um, you're on this little vessel. You have, you need to make it bigger, but in this case, we're on like uh, this inter interdimensional train that's like going between weird void spaces. You have to gather resources in the environment around you, uh, research how to build and unlock other things, and then uh, you know, survive by like eating and drinking stuff, which is like always flashing, <laughs> always flashing. I never have enough. Okay, I got that. Need uh, one iron bar. Okay, you know what? Get out of here, big jerk. I wonder if you could ruin my crafting stations. That would suck. Definitely missing more than I hit him. I gotta get off this thing and get some wood. Hold on. This thing needs to die. Oh, I can latch on! Get off of there! It's like the shark and... Stop it! Oh, now he's in the way! Oh, he puked out some stuff that time. All right, so we got some leather out of him. God, he is one ugly guy. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so he, I guess that thing acts kind of like again, kind of like the shark and raft too. Similar, similar, similar premise anyway. I really need to be able to make my train bigger. I guess I just had to keep progressing the research. Uh, oh, where's my iron bar? I didn't make one yet. Raw meat. I need to find a way to cook the raw meat. So it doesn't hurt me. 
It's like the movie Snowpiercer, but you're building the train. <laughs> yeah, and it, and they have a lot less uh, amenities, shall we say? Oh, he's just he's hanging there like a dead thing, taunting me now. Oh, I can pick it up. Or not? It was just it had raw meat there still. Okay, get this thing moving again. Oh, wrong way. Less cockroaches. Get loads of metal pieces and upgrade between levels. Those seem like metals that uh, the thing in this game that we're definitely gonna use the most of. Well, and we need lots of wood too, I guess, because we need fuel, but. There isn't even anywhere to store anything. Get this. Get that going. There's one of those gobbly things on here. More raw meat. Alright, what happens if I eat this dirty ice stuff? Oh, 5% water. Is that it? It's not even gonna like hurt me or anything? That's it? Alright. No. Oh, I thought that the uh, the dirty water would have some sort of a health impact. Sort of like the health the uh, the meat does, but it seems that's not really the case. Hopefully there's healing in the game because I just hurt myself. Hurt myself for a steak. Oh, there was water back there. Yoink. Yoink. Can you make jerky for the meat? You can't really make anything with the meat just yet. Uh, I have a feeling there'll be some sort of a cooking station or something later we can make that will take the... Uh, Take the hurtiness out of it. Yes, that's a technical scientific term. Hmm. Make sure I had room in my inventory. Look at that. More food. Watching since started, I'm noticing a disturbing lack of poop. Yeah, he's been eating and drinking and not using the facilities at all, really. Maybe because he doesn't have any facilities. Get some more wood. I'm using it all for fuel. Health is slowly regenerating. That's good. But not that big a deal eating the meat to hurt yourself then. Just regenerated it back. It's wearing a special poop suit. <laughs> Got a little, uh, looks like a little Ziploc bag over the butt. It accumulates there. We discard it later. We like to refer to it as the poop pocket. The poop pocket. <laughs> poop pocket patent pending. All the ice is dirty ice. Get up there. There's metal. Huh. 
<laughs> I'm on top of my smelter. Very good. Throw it overboard and let one of the, the flying creatures eat it. Uh, how do we know they're not? It's not like feeding gremlins. It could be bad. All right, what else have we got to do here to upgrade now? Platform. Okay, springs. That looks like a bearing. We got some bolts, iron bars. I guess we can we can get started on some of that stuff. Let's start making iron bars. I guess. Uh, as well make as many of them as we can. I'm gonna take a few. Don't die. So far, there hasn't been anything that's dangerous enough, dangerous enough to say it was gonna kill me. Oh. Another giant sphincter thing on the track. I don't know what it was, but I don't like it. On principle. Look in front of me. Talking about that thing on the track that I just shot? Put your finger in the sphincter. We got that, uh, the fat in the chest there. I guess we could, uh, make it a little more gentle. Self-checks prostate. Ew. I don't think that particular exam works the same way as you're thinking. <laughs> uh, Alright, I need more... Oh good, we got more. I put all that in there. dirty ice. All the ice is dirty. What does even make it get dirty out here? I don't get it. Alright. Uh, I need uh, springs and stuff. I hope I can make those over here. I can. How many springs was it I needed? Was it just one? Two. Of course it's two. Why wouldn't you be two? <laughs> no, sir, I didn't like it. <laughs> I say use the brakes more often to collect every bit of metal and what do you see? Well, I kind of can't win. See, I'm, uh, if I don't use the brakes, then people are saying I should use the brakes. If I use the brakes, then everyone's saying it goes, it takes too long and slow already without braking all the time. So whatever. My first time play, we'll just let it we'll let her rip. See what we can get. Uh I need to make two of these spring thing of a jiggers. Not enough space. My inventory's full. Manja. Slot one, slot two. What goes in there? Hat suit, backpack. Oh, I need to get a backpack so I can carry more stuff. That would be good. Okay, uh, this bearing thing requires... Oh, another one of those. How many of the bearings do I need? Two of them. So I need to make two of the compound. Requires the fat. Which is in here. Nobody shoot at me, I'm busy. Just do whatever rabbit dog would do. It did work. Oh. 
more fuel. Okay, so that's crafting, and then I need... I need more of the iron bars. It's gonna take one for each of those, so I need two of those. Plus I need more iron bars for the quest thingy. Whip up four of them. Yeah, because I gotta make bolts too. Alright. Welcome to the platform! Let's see what we can find here. Got more metal. Oh, research the platform technology, research phase four. Candles do well at warp speed. <laughs> They're warp speed candles. Seems like these platforms are all the same. They just have a random assortment of resources on them. Or if not the same, there's like, seem to be like two variations of it. Oh, what's down here? Alright, we did see that before. Platforms will be a safe place you can work in peace? I guess so, maybe. Cleared this one out already. Didn't take much. Oh good, more meat. Got more of that meat that makes my tummy hurt. Okay. Now, here, we're gonna make, uh, two of these things. Maybe the next skeleton will have a shotgun on the desk. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Can I climb up this thing? That would be a no. Okay, and I need uh, two of these. Delicious got the gun immediately. Yeah. Got the gun. H2O Delirious. Well, I got the gun on the first platform we went to. I think it's a I think it's a designed thing. You can interact with something just off the platform on the left side of your train? Oh, there's metal there. Thank you. Okay, not enough space. I need more storage room. Down in there. Got a lot of chemicals. Guess I could use up some of this water, that would make some room. Put our leather in here. From that, now we can research whatever this is. Platform, which I assume lets us expand the size of our train thing. More iron bars needed. Yeah, I'm sure there will be. <laughs> Whoops, wrong button. I can't blow up my own chest. Uh, okay, so I researched the platform thing. Can I make one? That would appear less, so it's a no. <laughs> Kitchen, there we go. Two iron bars, two copper wires. Copper wire is probably gonna take two pieces of, yeah, two copper bars. Oh, it's copper pipe that's called. That looks like wire to me. It's pipe on the table regret showing up. So this station you come across now and then. Yeah, so um, as you're traveling along, there's these, um, the, these little, like, portal things you go through. And that takes you to these intermediate stations before you go back through the next portal and into the next void area. Um, I don't know if there's ever going to be, like, enemies on these stations that we got to be careful of, but so far they've been safe spots.
It's magical, I think it's creepy. It's staring into your soul. At least it would if you had one. Can you get off the station? Um, I mean, you can get on your train and leave. Okay, it seems I've still got a tether, even though I'm... Oh, I can fly out here. Oh. I can't go much farther than this, though. I'm kind of hoping I could fly up high enough to get on top of that thing and see what's up there. Oh, maybe we can. Nothing. So we can get off, but we're still tethered to our uh, to our train, so that is sort of counterproductive, or at least non-productive. Yeah, I need two of these. Try wooden floor again. Now that you can, uh, now that you have a new platform. Hold on one second. There we go. All right. Uh, what was I gonna make? Oh yeah, the floor thing. Let's see what happens if we try to make a floor now? Wooden floor. Nope. Seems not. I mean, I'm gathering the wooden. Like maybe we, when we build an additional car, it doesn't have a wooden floor on it until we put one on, because it looks like this one's made up of four wooden floors. But there doesn't seem to be a way to craft the other additional car. Unless I have to, like, smelt it in the smelter or something? Or craft it on the crafting table? Definitely not that. There we go. So we'll be able to cook that random meat we got now. What is this? Resin. Ingredient used to... Okay. Yeah, we don't need resin yet. <laughs> I saw you deleted the messages, but I made it so they won't go back. Can you only upgrade your train AR at special stations? No, you can do it. Um, you can do it along the way too. I just figured we would um, we would tackle a couple little upgrade things while we were here in a safe spot, so I could focus on collecting on the next uh, the next trip. Um, cooking thing is done. Sterilizer and bandages. Leather bandages, that's interesting. All right, so the sterilizer is made with um, the food that I've been eating. <laughs> Organic stuff and then that, uh, whatever this stuff is. I should probably make a couple of those, actually. Go like this. Make a few of those, we use up some chemicals. Let's get the train underway again. Biker bandages. <laughs> yeah, they're made of leather, man. Can you jump off the train when that thing's pulling you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know that there's much benefit to trying that. Oh. This one's all reddish. So we had nighttime. I guess this is supposed to be like morning or something. I'm gonna reach these things over here. I think they might be too far away already. With the metal, at least. Need to find organics, because we're going to need it to make that uh, bandage -y thing. Sterilizer or whatever. And I kind of ate all the organics. Thought it was ice cream. Just close enough. Lots of inventory space now, at least. There's an organic, so that's good. Grab that. Grab this. You know what? Get out of here.
stick in the landing. Superhero landing. I think that one's got a bigger health bar. Purple. Oh no, you don't. Come back here. Oh, give me that leather. Got it. Okay. Now here we can go and research that. There you are. I thought I could hear it. Go away! Okay, so for the bandage, I need to make one of those sterilizer things now. Oh! You are a jerk! You're a jerk! As soon as I go to do something, every time, you know what? Stop. Oh, no, it's damaged. This object has been destroyed. Take the details. <gasps> oh, it wrecked my floor! You jerk! Oh, he is like the shark. Okay, so that explains the floor building that we had the ability to do before. Yeah, I'm gonna build the kitchen, but I need to deal with this guy first. I can't have him eat my stuff here. At least it doesn't destroy the stations and storage boxes and stuff that are on it, but... Still annoying. That's right, now you see how you're dead. Give me your meat. All your meats and all your fats. You can't reach it! No! There we go. Man, those guys suck. Okay, uh... Oh, locked down. Flooring required. How about that? Okay, so now we know what the flooring's for. One of those. It's a good thing those are annoying. Lord. Bandage unlocked. Uh, researching bandage, all right. Just go ahead and pet it, it wants a friend. <laughs> I'm assuming if I'm out on the tether, it can, uh, it can attack me when I'm flying around. But it seems like when I'm on the, uh, on the train, it only attacks the train. Q60 Zero Star Trek Battle Music. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> okay, what's next? Oh my god, I can get a pet? Taming the Rufflimo. Rufflimo. Okay, so I need uh, stuff. Lots of stuff. Oh, the stuff we need. Yeah, like four of these. I can get a pet, man. Oh, give me that. Oh, shoot. I can... Ah! Some metal over there I was gonna go grab it, but I guess it's gone now. Too slow. Go, 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 go! Oh, just enough. Nice. 
Sniper. 360 no scope. Need four iron bars and two copper, yeah. Blink. Yeah. Four iron bars I had. Oh, and I had them in progress, but. Turns out this thing wants fuel. Who knew? Of interesting so far. I'm wondering if, uh, like, as we expand the train, if the pace of the gameplay picks up a little bit. This um, early part seems to be a lot of, uh, you know, like, the grinding of resources and things, which I guess is kind of typical for your average survival game. There's always a fair amount of initial grinding as you're, like, learning the game, getting the resources, researching and unlocking things. I want to make my train bigger, man. How do I do that? Maybe we can only expand the train when we're in a station, maybe? Can you build a kitchen to cook some food? Uh, as soon as I can, assuming I can put it down somewhere, I'm gonna go with yes. <laughs> uh, the kitchen requires what though? I need a whole lot more metal. Let's see, kitchen. I need one more wood, I'm gonna need uh, two copper. It's not a platform when you have the materials, not just to the back end, I would guess. Yeah, I'm assuming I'm assuming so, but I, I don't know how it does it. So, like, when you go into the build menu, there's no choice in here to, ex to expand the size of your train. So even though I researched it and I unlocked it, I don't see actually how you accomplish it. station okay so I was right it is like something you do in between strictly a station stop got it no the floors are for uh, on the station on the, the train car itself so we had the the big shark monster thing destroyed two of the wooden platforms here I had to rebuild them uh, I think it was two copper pipe I needed oh what the I'm confused. What is going on? Give me that stuff back. Why can't I craft the other components in here anymore? Consumables, bandage. Oh, I see. Com oh. I get it. Just the nested menu now where it wasn't before. And I learned something today. I need turrets. <laughs> okay, is that turrets or turrets? Which one? Turrets would be handy so I could like stop shooting at stuff. Okay. Uh. No, that's not it. There it is. I guess we can put the rotate. Jeez. Floor space becomes quite the premium in this game, I see. Okay. I can cook things now. Ooh, I got a lot of meat on me. Kitchen food one. Food one or drinks one. Grilled organics, or steak. I mean, who wouldn't pick steak in this scenario? Mm, steak. So now maybe I can take the, the polluted water and turn it into clean water. Gotta get more wood for fuel. Uh, ah! 
It got, got too close to the train. I already have Tourette's? No, but my daughter does. Snag this. Bloop. Hit. Mm, Big Mac. Must have been some mistakes. Did you say steak? I did say steak. Too mellow for Tourette's? Yeah, I, I think, um... Much like everybody else, I just understood what Tourette's was until, my found, until we found out our daughter had it and we had to look into what it was and how they treat it and all that kind of stuff. It's not, uh, it's not what they show on TV where people are just, like, yelling and swearing all the time. It can be, but it's not, it's not just that. Yeah, they, uh, they basically classify it as Tourette's now if you have... If you have both a physical tick and a and a vocal tick, then it's uh, classified as Tourette's. But it's not always like the uh, involuntary, like grand involuntary gestures or you know cursing or whatever that people tend to show on TV. The mistake's been made. I'm joining late. Ah, oh, we made uh, made many of the mistakes. But nothing that got us killed yet. <laughs> Only minor mistakes so far. Oh, oh my food. Oh my god, the steaks are undercooked. I like medium rare, not blue rare. What happens if you miss the train? You kind of can't. I'm tethered to it, so it'll just drag me along. So you see here, I've got this cord that comes off of me and attached it to the train. If I fall too far behind, it'll just pull me along with it. I'm not walking or anything right now, it's just dragging me along. So at least we have that safety measure in place. Par amount of mistakes? Uh, I would say maybe subpar. We haven't really done anything dramatic yet. Nothing's exploded. I haven't gotten killed or anything. So far it's been reasonably undangerous. We've got this big monster thing that wants to eat my... Eat the deck of my train for some reason. Inside of that it hasn't been too bad. Oh, the steak is done. Let's make more steak. Thanks. We got, um... Actually, let's see what, how the water goes. Drinks, water flask, uh, organics, and... Alright. Or just... So we can make it... No, oh, we can make a water flask out of one clean water or two dirty water and an organic. Which I guess we will do. See how the water flask treats us. Uh, and then we can munch on some steak here and see how that does. Steak gives us 15% food. That's significantly better than uh, just eating it raw. Not unsurprisingly. Oh yeah, good times. Okay, uh, if I'm gonna expand the train car, I have no idea what I need, but I'm gonna guess I'm gonna need metal. So we should probably try to stock up on some of that. When we have the opportunity. Not there. Float around and find focus on finding metal and wood. Wood for fuel so we can cook more steak and metal so that we can make things, I guess. Research hamburgers next. Tough to go wrong with a good hamburger. Yeah. Anger bird. Oh, we're getting to the gate already. Too far, I'm not gonna reach it! Ow! Got water though. The music gets really dramatic as you approach these gate things. Huge. That's freaking huge! Oh, more metal I missed. I don't think we're gonna get enough metal to make the uh, uh, the train car. I don't know what it takes, but I'm guessing it's gonna take more than a couple. Try something treatable, or you just manage. You just manage it. You can you can take medicine that helps like helps with um, general control. 
impulse control or whatever. Oh, there's the water. Okay, how does the water do? Water gives us 15%. All right, so again, better than uh, better than just dealing with it normally. My life would be complete if a sheep went sailing by. Yeah, <laughs> build a caboose, my brother. I always hope for a caboose at the end of a train. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean, we want to expand the size so we have more. Oh God. Okay, turns out there are enemies. He's dead. I'm stuck inside my cooking thing. <laughs> Come on. We have a problem. I'm, I'm I'm grilling myself now. This isn't fair. They're shooting at me, and I'm stuck inside my grill. So clearly, not every platform is empty. On. How do I get out of here? Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> no! Not cool, man. Not cool. He's down. Open? <laughs> oh great, now I really am cooking myself. <laughs> Why? No! Oh, I got a good shot again. Stop shooting me! Can't you see I'm cooking? Worst air conditioning ever. Can I deconstruct the barrel? Uh, I don't know. Doesn't really look like it. Doesn't even seem to be like an option to move things around. Decor. I wonder if I, if I save the, uh, you know what, I'll save the game. We'll come back in and we'll see if I'm still stuck inside. Move the cart backward? Oh, that might work. Oops, if I can reach it. It's locked down because of the parking. My only choice is to leave the depot. I can't just back up a little bit. Uh, okay, so let's um go back to the menu. Just do opposite what I did to get in. What, freak out and get shot? <laughs> oh, that thing's so cute. Did I try the letter that's between S and U? Oh good, we're out. All right, we're free. That worked. Oh, all the guys that killed are gone though. Oh wait, what did he drop? A token. Okay. Ooh, hello. Huh. A builder's box. The resources in this box will not be saved if you leave the depot without picking them up. What on earth is that for? Void Wars Episode 3. Oh my god. Can I trade this thing off? Because that'd be great. What are the deals with the builder's box? Dustin with the super chat. Why do all your clothes look like you've been shopping at Kohl's? Um, because I'm, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> he, he has a complete lack of style. It's not his fault. He's living in some weird alternate dimension thing. What the heck is this?
Now that the enemy is disposed of, and oh. our adventurers get a chance to look around, they find a control post mentioned in the diary. Oh. I found a thing. Interact. Oh! Impetuous. Mechanical engine. Locomotive. Wagon platform. Zero of two. So... I don't have resources. That's to repair stuff, I guess. What is this? Oh. Demolish the old engine. Iron horn. Transmission handle. Why do I have those things when I already have them? I can't... I mean, is the arrow adding additional platforms then? We renamed our ship. <laughs> so it looks like I need bolt springs. Oh my god, I don't have a metal. Um, I suppose this is an upgrade of some kind. Huh. <laughs> Great name. An appropriate name for me, that's for sure. Uh, okay, let's... Um, we're going to need a whole bunch more of these iron bar things, I think. Let's get those going. Demolish the old engine is the car mechanic simulator? No, it just destroys this thing. I guess we could replace it with something else when we get like an actual motorized engine instead of the pump handle or whatever. Uh, all right, fuel. Those in there, we can get that working. Let's go see if we can scrounge up some more supplies around here. It's really noisy in this area. Up to south, doors don't work. Revolver module. Okay. I mean, those are for the guys I killed, but I have no idea what that's for. This is a much bigger platform. Can't shoot the ball. Added boom for your buck. <laughs> oh, go bloom. Me all this stuff. Inventory is almost full already. No walls, are just doors that you haven't opened yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I guess they gave me that builder's box there so you can unload your inventory until you get... Or maybe I have to put the pieces in that builder's box in order to use this thing. So I need springs bolts. I need four of those bars. Uh, what do I got on me? I got two of them here. Let's see if it shows up in here. Eh, not really. We shall find out. Hey, Polani, how's it going? What was that on the table with the Norse runes on it? I, oh, Bakiri. I don't know. It's sort of like an altar kind of thing. Like, it says push E to interact, but nothing happens. So I'm guessing maybe I need something in particular to interact with it. What the heck is this thing? Oh, I've got a token. I can spin it. Give me anything? I thought it said two clover leaves. Should have gotten me two of whatever those clover tokens are, but oh, there they are. <laughs> Never mind. I got it. Gotta love gambling and video games. Triple puffer fish! What'd that give me? Token and some wood. 
triple candy is steak. Oh, those organics. That's weird. That, that music is super loud. I don't like it. What's your deal? Get a prophecy. Oh, maybe I can put the prophecy over here. Maybe not. <laughs> How do I use this thing? Prophecy, thick of the void. Speed of swimming in the void, minus 15%. Well, I don't like that. <laughs> what do I do with that thing? I should leave it behind is what I should do with it. one arm bandit steak. That's right. Okay. Uh, what else did I need for that thing? I have a memory like a sieve. I don't remember. So we need uh, springs, bearings, and bolts. I can stay right there. You don't need to swim more slowly. That's annoying. Uh, bearings. These things here. Oh, I need the another compound made. The compound requires this, so that's good. Did the ship name itself, or was that Cryptic Boxes doing? Oh, I named it. <laughs> it was something else, but does it say what the name is? I can't. I can't see where the name is. How do, you, how do you see the name? Does it say it up there on the board? <laughs> this is a new game. Yeah, it just came out today, the, so the, uh, August 12th. I think it's an, uh, an Epic Game Store exclusive. Void Train. It's kind of like, it's a, it reminds me a lot of, uh, reminds me a lot of the game Rafts. But it's on like this weird interdimensional voyage on a train with like Nazis and flying monster things. I, I, don't, I don't really know. <laughs> The premise behind the game is a bit sketchy. Oh, how many of those uh, gears did I need? Not gears, the bearings. Shoot, I need two of them. Okay, so I'll start two of the bolts here anyway. Well, that's working. We need to make another one of those compounds. Confused me when I saw it released on or 2022 on Steam. Yeah, so it's um it must be a, a like an exclusive for the year or whatever on uh, on the Epic Game Store and then it'll come out on console. Or, I mean on uh, Steam after that. Um, two of these I need. <laughs> I need more bars. I don't have enough metal. I'm not gonna have enough bars. No, not like this. I'd like this. Give me that. What would be early access still when it comes out on Steam? Uh, uh, I mean, I would, I would think that over the course of this next year they're going to be doing more development on the game, but, I mean, who could say, right? Okay. So into here I will put springs and this. And the bolts. And I need to... What is this all about? Oh. Basic frame geezer. Basic frame founder. I guess they're like assembly parts for putting together a gun? I can't interact with my own gun. Aside from like pulling it up to use it. So it's not like I can upgrade it or something. This doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go find some more stuff. I gotta find more metal. We need more bars. Oh, look at that. It actually, like, everywhere around here is gonna be available. Maybe that builder's box isn't what I think it is. Or is it? Maybe it's so that when you're looting around the place, you've got spots to dump off loot without going all the way back. You guys.
Fancy painting. I should be able to take that for my train. I want decor on my train. Well, that didn't work. This, uh, this station's so much bigger than the other ones we stopped at. Bunkhouse for all those people we shot. Not a lot you can loot in here. Okay, right, nothing special in the lower level. We have the whole other side of the, uh, the platform we haven't checked yet, too. You don't have a wall on your train where you're going to be hanging in a painting? Um, we'll figure it out. Don't you worry. We'll, like, put it on the smelter or something. On a smelting good time. Oh, I didn't get enough metal to do that. Last, I thought I did. Storage boxes are all full already. Okay, for now we'll put the revolver things in here. Because <laughs> I don't know what to do with them otherwise. I just need a little bit more metal so that we can uh, make our train bigger. Finding all wood. Wood. <laughs> Was Jandon? <laughs> Give me metal. Yes. I think that was the last piece I need. All right, we're good. So we'll go back. We'll turn. Uh, we'll make one more bar of the iron, and then if we drop that in the builder's box, then maybe we've got the stuff we need. Yeah, we got lucky that the last piece we needed was right there. <laughs> ah, come on. I should have collected more metal in between, I guess, but it's hard to know what I'm going to need exactly. Okay. Boom. Oh, I gotta get my water here, too. Let's see. We'll just drink that. Need to cook more steaks up on the Barbie. Uh oh. Just running out of fuel on everything here. Misclicked. I don't think there's any stuff in lockers. Yeah, you can't even do anything with the lockers. You can't open them or interact with them, but. Did you say you can open lockers? I, when I was looking at them, it didn't look like I could interact with them at all. Yeah, there's there's no interaction button here. Unless those ones don't qualify. We'll check the bunkhouse across the way here. Those loggers, the one you're talking about, the ones in the bunkhouse, right? These loggers, oh, you can't interact with them. Oh. I thought when I looked at them before, I didn't get the pop up, but typical game. 
give you a whole bunch of lockers you can open and then troll you by putting nothing in them. It's your pull doors, not push doors. Nothing. Stupid lockers. They might be pull doors, but they don't open. Yeah. There's definitely not stuff in them. We opened them all. <laughs> How rude. That's a shame. We got uh, like all those lockers and nothing in them. What a what a bummer. All right, well, let's see if we can add another another um, platform onto our thing here. I gotta finish cooking that steak up too. Uh, more wood for the steak. Okay, I don't know if this is what the builder's box is for, but I'm gonna drop the stuff in here just to see if it makes it accessible on the machine. No, oh, it does. Okay. Um. Boom! Yes! Okay. I wonder why it still has zero and two wagon platforms. That's weird. Sweet! So we can make a bigger thing here now. Um. There's really nothing I need to construct on there, exactly. I hope I can move things from one platform to the other. Is there a trash can near the ball court I missed? That's alright, I'll leave it. I got enough in here to grab this now. I don't know what to do with these revolver things. I'm assuming at some point I can craft a better handgun than what I have. Okay, so now if I go in here and build flooring, it takes two pieces of wood per floor. So we... I've only got enough wood to make two of them. I gotta get more wood to make those back two. But now we've got a, a little bit more reasonably sized train to put stuff on. I wish I could relocate things. I guess later items will take more stuff that you can carry and when you make stuff in the build... Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. Like dump more... A bigger, yeah, it's a bigger incompetent now. Um, yeah, and so when uh, when we get to those later levels, you put all the stuff in the builder's box because you can't carry it all in your person. We're out of here. See a station. Oh, look at this wide, luxurious train thing we got now. Get a steam engine soon with all the weight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we haven't unlocked anything like that, but... It does end up building like a full-size train, I guess, so I don't know, or at least a full-size train engine kind of thing. Let's see what that's all about. Uh, I wonder if it'll go slower now that it's hauling more weight. Gotta restock. We've pretty much, pretty much consumed all our supplies here. I'm looking forward to being able to make a backpack so that we can, uh, carry more things too. Can I use the uh, the terminal to move things now that you've added the wood flooring? Uh, maybe? Oh god! Forgot about that guy. I mean that wood. I need more more metal is what I need really. Are you a jerk? Get the crap out of me. Oh, give me all your stuff. No, it fell. We got it. I feel like every time, you know what? I'm going to stop the train again. It seems like the, the better route with this crazy monster thing is just to hit the brakes, let the thing come in close enough that I can shoot it a bunch. And then I don't have to worry about it. Or miss it a bunch. You know, whichever works. Apparently that's too far away.
Superman. Potato aim for the win. Always with the potato aims. Reload. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, you did. You did a little bit. <laughs> That's right. We got your stuff. Yeah, it's so tough. Definitely ugly, though. Not enough space. Oh, man. Okay, I definitely need to make um, some more of these bars. Which I don't have the materials for. That's great. Uh, because I need to... Uh, I need to make more storage space. I guess I can just eat these. It'll create some room. I gotta find metal. Let it rip. Did you make a storage chest? Yeah, I have three of them that I've crafted, but I've got to get some more metal because it takes two iron bars to make the storage chest. So I actually need a bunch of metal in this zone because I, I want to make the uh, the parts I need for that uh, thing to tame that little critter guy too. What benefit he provides, I have no idea, but it's good to have a pet. Where's all the resources hiding? Stop the train! This might be too far away. He's missing so many res? What's this now? This is multiplayer, yeah. You can play multiplayer up to four players, I think. The little guy might collect for me. Oh man, if he if if like taming that thing results in it collecting stuff for me, that would be amazing. We burned out like all of our resources making this thing bigger. <laughs> now I gotta like go up and collect more. Okay, get another storage box made. How are you playing? I'm playing on my PC. How uh, how are you not playing? It's a good game. So this game is uh, it just came out today, August 12th. Well, I guess uh, for some of you it'll be yesterday yesterday already because it's now tomorrow. Figure that out in your brain. <laughs> uh, but it's an Epic Game Store exclusive, I believe. I have a link in the description to where you can find it if you're interested in playing the game yourself. Uh, any purchase made using that link, of course, um, uh, helps support the channel at the same time. Or you can just use my creator code on checkout. If you prefer. Um, okay, we need a storage box. I really wish I could make bigger ones, but these will have to do, I guess. I need more iron bars for that. But the fact that each of these only store like three items is not helpful, <laughs> to say the least. Maybe I'll put uh, put our cooking supplies in here. Maybe. I should probably make more water. Let's see, water. Only one of them. Is that it? Can't create anything. No space for the finished product. Oh, there we go.
Wait, where'd that water go I just picked up? What? I picked up a water thing and now I don't have it. <laughs> it vanished on me. Maybe you can upgrade the boxes. Probably. Um, oops, I'm still going backwards here. That's not good. Oh, you can shoot it to change direction. That's handy. So if you're like... If you're flying out somewhere and you're like, Oh, I need to back the train up to grab something I missed. You can just shoot it and then... Put the train in reverse. That's handy. Same thing probably with hitting the brakes. I'd be like, oh god, hit the brakes! Oh, or I could just destroy my place. There we go. <laughs> That's neat. Hopefully it doesn't actually damage it. Seems like the kind of brilliant thing I'd do. That would... Totally sure that you can shoot it though. Well, there is that. Like I said, you know, <laughs> potato aim being what it is, uh, I may not be. I may not be the most reliable tactic for me, but it is neat that you can do it. So for those of you who can shoot, it's handy. As long as it doesn't actually damage things, that'll be the catch, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> shoot the handle right off the controls. That'd be like, that'd be uh, yeah. That's, uh, that sounds exactly like something I would do by accident, accidentally on purpose anyway. It's all the metal hiding. Who metal? Shoot one of the empty floors and prove it. Yeah, it doesn't show like any damage. At the very least, it doesn't pop up with like a damage number the way it does when you shoot an enemy. Not that that's necessarily uh, the best indicator, but it seems like it doesn't damage it. Your delicious steakiness. Not enough space. Oh god. Uh I want the wood. <laughs> the ability to shoot that thing is really handy. <laughs> but you don't always have to rush back to the train. Jeez, I almost, almost didn't get to grab that thing. Not enough space. Uh, okay, hold on. I can put something in here to start more water, maybe. Get that going. Now can I pick it up? Still not enough. Here, put the leather in there. Storage acquired. Okay, we'll put our uh, our water in here. God. Everything I need for this guy is metal base. I need. Uh... Four. Eight. I'm gonna need like ten pieces of metal in order to make that thing. 
10 medals is... Game story revolves around you're running from the tax collector. <laughs> What's this now? Is there a plot to the storyline? Yeah, the idea... It, so the little introductory video thing they have, which is almost like a slideshow with a lot of talking. Um, you're like part of some sort of paramilitary group. And you get separated from your commander, but your commander is some really fearsome dude. So you're like, okay, we got to go meet up with this guy or he's totally going to kill us for being... Like people who abandoned our army or something. So you're like headed through this like frozen wasteland. Trying to meet up with the guy. And you end up finding this shack. And then in the shack are like Nazis or something. And they're trying to break in. And you're stuck inside this room where there's this... This portal thing you can use to get out. And like come into this weird interdimensional space. So it's um... It's a kind of a very... Very loose uh... Very loose plot line leading into it. And then it sort of thrusts you directly into the game, so you don't really get a lot of context. Hey, that I missed the majority of the live stream and headed to the start. Alright, well, thanks for dropping in. Enjoy the, uh, the early part of the stream where I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> Still don't really. Where's all the metal hiding? The worst part is there's all these, like, huge chunks of metal floating around, and none of them are things that I can interact with. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. oh it's... Oh, okay, good. Phew! Thought I was going to be just out of reach. Another one over here. Yeah, the early part's exactly like this part. Only I had fewer things built. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, a lot of grinding for resources in this game, it seems. Uh, I don't know how much metal I have already. Probably should find out. Might be relevant. Ah! Ah, I'm stuck! I already. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> a few bad shots. Okay, let's melt some more bars. Uh, oh, got our water. So much grinding. Grinding resources brings me back to college days playing WoW, of course. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's what it was. Boop. I wonder if there'll be enemies in the next platform, too. Is it going to be like something we have to anticipate every time now, or... I don't know what the deal is with that. You only need four of those bars and two copper, by the way. Do I? So, I need, uh... <laughs> you rather do. <laughs> Alright, it's okay. We're gonna need more of those later, anyway. Uh, I need, uh, two of the bolt things. We'll use that. Stick this in here. I get this one here, that'll give me enough to get the copper I need. Yoink.
I'm here. Uh, I'm new here. Do you stream every day? Uh, not every day, but I, st I stream most days. So generally between five and seven days a week. Um, every now and then I have stuff going on with work or family or whatever, and it's not always uh, not always a good day to stream, and I might not have one. But uh, darn it. But yeah, normally uh, five to seven nights a week I tend to stream. And then every now and then I try to upload content too, but uh, that's a little bit more sparse just because of uh, you know work and stuff. This isn't my full-time gig. I got a got a day job. Okay, I need um, was it two of those wire things I needed? Yeah, two of the wires. So we need one more of the copper bars. No, I didn't. Ah, I made a copper bar for nothing. Can't cancel it. Too slow. Oh well. <laughs> I'm sure we'll use it at some point. That's right, I forget because I'm really, really old. I forget everything. What's your name again? Taming the Rufflebo. New blueprints. So now we can get a winch. Huh. One of those me go farther. Throwing ring? Aggression indicator. Alright. I need a lot more metal. So much more metal. My goodness. For all that, I still don't have anything that lets me upgrade these boxes. Yeah, aggression indicator. You're feeling aggressive. <laughs> this thing works good. Who's hiding all the resources, man? Yeah, I do need a giant magnet. Let's see what it takes to make that nest thing. There it is. Rapidly Mo's nest. Uh, uh, two bars, two of the copper things, more of the bar things. God. I'm curious what the Rapidly Mo will do for us, but we'll find out, I guess. Do the throwing ring first. That might be handy. Capture resources a little bit easier. <laughs> They're calling it a throwing ring, but really it's just a frisbee. They just can't use that name because of the branding. What does it cost to make the nest? Um, it's like a couple bars, a couple of the copper wire things. Okay, so it's uh, two bars, two bolts, two wires, and two wood. Need one more, uh, one more copper bar. I love how aggressive the music gets as you approach the gate. I think the ring's like the throwing ring in it. Yeah, it probably is. I sort of assumed that's what that uh, was the case. My oh, uh, welcome to the gate. Let's cook some more steak up. Go 
away we go. So much faster. There's another big one. Where's the bad guys at? Is it all quiet here? Jeez, ah, you jerk! Where is he? He's way over there. Okay. Alright, we gotta deal with these guys. And by deal with them, I mean get shot in the head a lot. Oh boy. Nobody go. I need a sniper scope on this thing. Probably should have made some bandages. Not I'm reloading. Get back here. I'm not done shooting you. What do you drop? Nothing? Really? Oh good. There we go. We want another one of those revolver modules. I really want to know how to use those things. Yeah, I'm already a magnet for bullets. I don't need help that. I don't need help at good attracting bullets, man. metal at least nice no room uh you know what basic frame impudence i don't i don't know what the basic frames are all about I dropped two things, I think. Oh, nice. They stagger when you get a headshot. That's handy. Uh, oh, oh, oh. He dropped something. Not enough space. Ah. I threw away that part of the pistol thing. Um, let's use that. Grab that thing. Maybe we can assemble it into a uh, completed revolver now. Something that might be an upgrade. Use your builder box for temp storage. Yeah, I might have to. I'm gonna find one around here. Oh, buddy. He's taking a nap. He's not really dead. Oh my god, there's too many levels in here. I think we went under the track. I went on the locker. Yeah, I'm just kind of focusing on shooting things first. that metal uh, I don't necessarily need that much fat right, let's 
ditch the fat here for now. The metal is more important. Dump the fart. <laughs> you know that flatulence you've been carrying around? You need to get rid of it. It's weighing you down, man. It's weighing you down. I, I have nowhere to store anything here. Alright, temporary storage. Dump it all in here. Sort it out later. The revolver module. Oh, the barrel. So I'm assuming there's still an enemy here somewhere, because last time it's when we killed them all, that voice thing popped out to tell us that we had killed, killed them all, right? Oh, these lockers have stuff in them that I can't interact with. Good times. Token seems to just be for the slot machines, yeah. I don't know if it'll have any use later, but... Okay. <laughs> I opened the locker and it flung the chair across the room, but the locker didn't really open. I mean, I don't see any of their enemies, so I guess, I guess it's not gonna tell us that we killed them all. The locker is a lie. Yeah, the locker is a lie, and it's so much worse than cake. Let's go try the slot machine. That was clear. Listen to the music. Oh, is that what it was? The, did the music change? Bing, bing, bing. Triple candies. That gave me steak. More puffer fish. Not enough tokens. I'm tokenless. Oh, look. Get like upgraded stuff here. Oh, let's get a fortune from this guy. He's not even working. Eh, you stink. Okay. Oh my god, I'm out of wood. Um, I got wood in my temporary storage thing here. Take this. I want to. I need to smelt uh, more bars of stuff, right? So the throwing hook is. Oh, it's just two iron bars for that. That's easy. Well, that was easy. Pick up some more steak too. Guess the fortune guy takes the token anyway. I, I guess so. I, I thought. On oh, the last station, it didn't take a token, but... I guess it does. I mean, it makes sense, but... Alright. It's fine. See, this one here, though, it says not enough tokens. This guy doesn't say anything. Maybe it just doesn't work. Okay, research our throwing ring. Uh, do I get my two copper now? Yes, I do. So I need to make the two, uh, the piping. No, wait, is that what it is? 
I have the worst memory. No, it was the other stuff. I think I checked. Two of these things I need. Uh, and then I need uh, two iron bars and two bolts. That's going to be four iron bars. Ah, I can only make two right now. But I got two. Sweet. Pick up some more steak while we're at it. Yeah, I'm working on building the nest right now. I have to get all the materials to make it, though. I wonder if you could trade the last tablet for another? I mean, I don't know. I threw it away. <laughs> I kind of left it on the ground at the last place. So, not a lot of trading opportunity there. Okay, and then in here, I have... I already took it. I need this. Oh, I gotta make two bolts, right. Boop. Okay. I wonder if it matters where I put this thing. Uh, I guess we'll just we'll stick it back here because I don't know where to put it. Successfully got a thing. Find Reefo Mo in one of the depots and put him in a nest. I mean, the nest is basically a, a box with a table. Or a table with a box. That's weird. So I gotta find a Reefo Mo in one of the depots? I don't know what he looks like. Tablets are worthless to get later in the story, anyways. Oh, okay. You can move your work. I don't know if you can move your workbench. There's no. There doesn't seem to be like an option to change these things. Unless um, the control panel up here lets me do it. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can move it. I can put these other things on it, but I can't I can't move it, it looks like. That's a shame. Still don't know what the deal is with these things either. Kind of a rune business. Yeah. Anyway, we are uh, we're just rolling up on midnight my time. Uh, I'm going to call it a wrap for tonight. This, of course, has been Void Train. Uh, big thanks to uh, Epic Games for providing the code so I can check out the game and play it. Just came out today on the Epic Games Store that's uh, available now. So if you're interested in playing it yourself, I have a link in the description below to where you can find that on the Epic Games Store. Or if you just find it there and use uh, Cryptic Fox Gaming on checkout, that helps support the channel at the same time as you grab the game. But uh, thanks so much, everyone, for, uh, for coming to hang out this evening. Appreciate the super chats. I'm as always Cryptic Fox, I'll see all of you next time.